What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. We have a special one for you right quick. Mr. Archie Davenport. He stops by the podcast to talk about the hammer incident on I-40 up in Arkansas. He had an incident with another driver, Rose Rage. And it, it, it wasn't from a four-wheeler. It was from another truck driver no more wasting time let's get it hold on all right all right archie in the building so we, we just gonna go ahead and jump right into a driver so uh one of my subscribers you know kind of helped me to the uh to the asian my show uh interview that you had with him about uh about being in a road rage on a on a highway so you 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 just driving down the highway minding your business and everything and what happened take us back um it was uh, <clears throat> last wednesday um we were driving through there traffic was pretty backed up due to other trucks in the slow or in the fast lane backing up i think that's what originally uh aggressed the situation and then, um, I, of course, I was in the slow lane because our company trucks can only do 68 mile an hour. And, um, along with that, he came going by me. I mean, he blew my doors off and he was messing around with a four wheeler. Well, I backed off because I didn't want any altercation or any of that kind of mess happen. Well, he slowed down to 35 mile an hour. And then I went to go pass. I passed him again. And then as I passed him, I got back over. And then, you know, just kept on going about my daily, about being, doing my job. And he came and rolled up next to me and he stood still with me and he started hollering things at me. And I just like, man, just keep on going. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. He shows me the hammer. I'm like, okay, this is about to get a little bit serious, I think. So I just said to him, I just said, it ain't worth it. And then right as I went to turn back over to, you know, look at what's in front of me and everything, that's when the hammer got thrown through his passenger window into my driver's side window. And that's when it uh, got me in the eye with, uh, and I ended up with seven stitches in it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, so all this started with the other, now for everybody that know this, this was another truck driver. This, this wasn't, this wasn't yes, a four wheeler. Sir. This, yes, this wasn't sir. a four wheeler. This wasn't no, a, this a passenger was another, vehicle. This was another driver. Yes. This was another driver of the road. Wow. That's crazy. So I always say that, um, that us drivers, we're, we're toxic, man. We, we all are toxic and it, 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 it ain't no if, ands, and buts about it. We, we are more, we are more ill fated towards ourselves than, than we are to anybody else or anybody else that's ill fated to us. So I, okay. So in the comment session, uh, a few drivers are calling cap on you though. Uh, they, they saying that it's more to the story that, you know, you, you had to do something to initiate that driver to, to, to do what he did. What, what, what do you say I to that? I can understand. I can understand people's, um, thinking to that because as, today's world we live in that things just things just don't come right out of this but i got a 22 year driving career i think of my family being out on this road just along with everybody else's family out on the road for one i'm not going to put my life in danger where i'm not going to make it home to my family and i'm not going to put the motor republic out put the motor republic at risk i am a says a professional driver on my CDL license. 
Okay. Okay. Granted, we all make mistakes. There's all we we're not perfect. We're far from perfect. I'm far from perfect. So but, uh, for go so, ahead. Sir. So it all so it all started with the initial truck driver having issues with with the car. What what made him what what made him change focus over to you though? That is a question I still play back in my mind. I I've, I've looked at our um our cuz we have driver facing cameras and also we have cameras that face out uh, at our company. And um looked at through the footage and everything like that, I don't see where I could have been anything that I could have did anything differently or if I did do something different, because I'll be the first to admit, if I did do something wrong, I'm going to call myself out and say, hey, I did something wrong. I was wrong. This is what happened. Take my lumps and move on. That's just the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. But, But regardless, I don't think anybody should be in the motor republic representing our industry like that. Right. And, you know, taking taking somebody else's life and their lives in their own hands. Yeah, he I he, mean, after yeah, all he, that happened, there was quite a lot of traffic behind us. Yeah, he 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 did something dangerous, bro, and and he he needs to be off the road. Um with that said, I absolutely agree. With that said, was 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 you? Of course, you have to pull over because uh, you're hurt. You you know you're injured. Um, of course, the what your your window, your driver window busted out, or no, my driver window was down. Okay, I was going down the road with my driver's window down. Okay, it was. <laughs> It was a fair, nice day out, you know, so I didn't need the AC. I didn't need the heat. I just was going and going, going about my business, you know. And then, um, like I said, I observed, you know, and I mean, that Swift truck held up everything for at least 8 to 11 miles. Of trust me, we've all mm-hmm. been there behind that slow truck. Like, man, just get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Let us actually go, go, you know. It, that's just the way it's going to be. And I mean, I don't know if he just had a bad day or that set him off that four wheeler set him off, but uh, yeah, that's, regardless what set him off, that still should use the hammer. Yeah. That, that still shouldn't happen to you. Um, I'm, I'm totally sorry for that happening to you. And I'm glad that you was I able to appreciate that. I'm glad that you was able to, uh, you know, at least get over and, and make sure that yourself was all right. Now, as far as the driver that that's done that, uh, now I, I've seen the picture. Um, I've seen the close up of the of the of the logo of the truck. But do you got any did? Well, let me ask you this. Did he pull over or anything or he just kept going and? Pretty much got out to of sight. my knowledge. He kept he kept on going and got out of sight. Um, mm. I have a couple of people that has, I guess, editing software. Is um, I'm being correct on it to where they zoom on it. I've discovered the sword is mm-hmm. it's not necessarily um a company logo. That's I guess it's to represent something with Bosnian arms. So I'm not sure if that's a connection to him or if he's mm-hmm. just a driver who's, you know, just driving that truck and um but uh if I saw the gentleman again I would I would definitely be able to pick him out in a hurt. So I mean Well we all we all know that this trucking world is is small. So, you know, we 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 eventually run into each other eventually <laughs> um but again man i you know I, I do appreciate you you know taking the time and and coming up here and sharing your story with us um i mean i wish there was more that you know we can do on our part but you know i appreciate the, you know the the 
the you know the, knew the, it, um, yeah the picture and everything you know like i said i've been around this i've been around trucking all my life in one one shape form or another i have had a family member or members in trucking and that's how i make my living that's how i raise my family and if that gets taken away from me i'm yeah, you yeah you pretty I, much done. I mean, uh, you know, if if I any of us get lost, hurt, lost any, my way to take care of my family. Right. If any of us get hurt or anything like that, and we're the breadwinners or the breadwinners, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to right. You know, but uh, but I'm glad that uh, I'm glad you know, I'm glad that it didn't. You, of course, went to the hospital. What what happened? You know what what. What happened at the hospital? What what was the outcome of, um, of your when injuries? When I got to the hospital, the doctor initially did his uh, exam. I had a CT scan. Um, from what he's seen of the scans and from my recollection, telling the story, I was knocked out for thirty seconds. So I, because I don't remember getting, I remember getting hit with the hammer. And then I remember losing my center and then something just for, I don't know if it was natural action got me pulled over to the shoulder, but I ended up getting seven stitches in my left eye. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a tear on the, um, what they call the film, like the glaze that, uh, shield dry. There's a cut on that. Then, um, my, uh, retina in the cornea in the back was damaged. And I got to go back in another couple weeks for another uh, exam of that to make sure that everything's healed fine and nothing's detached from it. Wow! And you said you was you said you was actually not out. So you, man, man, Jesus took the wheel for you, bruh. Jesus that, took the wheel, that is man. For sure, Jesus took the wheel, man. Oh, so not, I mean, so not you completely out. So. Who, I mean, do you, so you said you was knocked out for at least 30 seconds. So do you remember, uh, any of the emergency people, cops or anything like that, that got you out of the truck? I remember the emergency people got to me before the police did. The police didn't meet up with me till I got to, um, the hospital and the first hospital they took me to didn't have an ophthalmologist on call. So they had to end up transfer me to another hospital, which I think is Baptist over in uh, West Little Rock. Is I, doctor, the ophthalmologist come in and do the look and look at the scans and um, everything like that. And uh, that's when they made their determination. So all this happened in Arkansas. Doctors. Yes, this happened in Little Rock, Arkansas. 40, right over there off of 40. About the 182 mile marker. Mm. I know there was a wow. Toyota Camry. It was dark silver. Mm -hmm. That's who he was uh, having the altercation with and running it off the road. And at the time, there was also a, a white F-250 pickup that was uh, in front of me. That when he saw him pull up next to me, he bolted out. So whether he saw anything or not, that is that is unclear to me. Right. So, but um, so, it was uh. Go ahead. Oh uh, no! I, I no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. It was about midnight, one o'clock, before they released me from the hospital, and then uh, my company um got me home to uh make sure that I was well, uh, just make sure that I was feeling well enough to actually get back behind the wheel. And today was my first day back behind the wheel since I went. Wow. So of course they took you to the hospital. Where did they take the truck? You know, my company, luckily there was a team operation in the area. They were able to uh, get my truck and take it to the love. And um, there was the driver waiting there for me. Uh, the company paid for uh, for Uber or Lyft. I can't remember which it was to get me over to the uh, get me over to the truck stop. And uh, mm -hmm. of course, 
the company didn't want me to drive, so the other team driver drove us back to uh, Blue Mountain, Mississippi, where our main terminal is at. And then they was able to get you home from there. Where, where's home for you? Athens, Tennessee. Okay, just the next state over. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, driver, oh. man, I, you know, it's like I said before, man, you know, the 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 toxicity in 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 trucking is 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 relevant and it's unfortunate that a lot of people don't see that you know i'm i'm glad that you you know you popped up on on uh on the show across the street <laughs> and you decided to come over here and sit down with the lockout men i i i really really do appreciate and and really uh really appreciate your story man well, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, be able to listen to me. And um, just one thing I would like to say is I still look, like I said in Asian My Show, I still look at trucking as a brotherhood and a sisterhood. I still believe that there's enough people in our industry that could turn our industry back around and make it what it once was, where we ain't got all this riffraff that we could sit and actually help each other. And I just, I just think we need to have more awareness of what we deal with on a daily basis and more, more, uh, more awareness and more, um, I guess, communication about it. Right. That, you know, this is more than just a lifestyle. Exactly. And that's what a you lot know, of, that you know, a lot of us, old, a, job. a lot, a lot of us old timers, a lot of us, you know, veterans, you know, look at it as a lifestyle. Wow. Wow, the the new drivers, the new jacks is just looking at it as a job. So, yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's crazy, man. Well, Archie, again, like I said, thank you very much for you know coming over here and and sitting down with the lockout men, you know, chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you stay safe out there, driver, and uh, we we will definitely chop back up again. Definitely for sure. And if I get any more leads or information on it, I will definitely send you the info so you can put it out there amongst your viewers and listeners. Will do. Will do. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.